Yo, we got a giveaway at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned till the end, baby. Don't be skipping around. This is a juicy episode. You guys are going to enjoy it. But just so you guys know, there is a giveaway at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. So, I actually made a tackle video not too long ago over my secret tackle box, but this is the new and updated secret, secret tackle box. So, you guys like the last one, so we're going to hop into this one. It's going to be a juicy episode. If you guys watched my last video at Bass Pro Shops, that was pretty much where I bought a lot of this tackle, and I told you guys I was going to create a tackle box out of this and pretty much, you know, combine it all into one little tackle box. It's portable. I can take it everywhere and that whole deal. If you guys want to see some more tackle videos like this where I kind of go in depth on building tackle boxes, showing you guys my tackle, giving you some more tips on tackle in general, then pepper that like button, man. And also uh, leave a comment below. I need to know like what you guys would like to see because sometimes it's kind of hard to tell because you guys just watch and you don't comment and you don't like. So make sure you do that. Make sure you pepper the like button if you want to see more and comment below what you want to see. So let me show you guys what I got going on. So I have one, two, three, four, five packs of zoom speed, speed crawls right here and they're in all different colors this is actually the ultra vibe speed crawl if you guys watch my video over the the best bass fishing bait i taught you guys how to fish this bait in the middle of the water column on the bottom and on top if you haven't seen that video i highly suggest you go watch it. it's actually blowing up it's like i think it's like 50 or 60 thousand views everybody was enjoying it everybody was liking it and i go in depth about this bait and why i think it's such a great bait so as you guys can tell i have a little tackle box this is a smaller one um, i actually just got it from bass pro shop it's really not that big i'd say it's about 10 inches 10 inches by seven it's a smaller box it's not like the regular tackle boxes i have my zoom speed crawlers and this is the black and red flake as you guys know i love this in dirty water it's such a great Baby, because there's a ton of fish. And then I have a green pumpkin one right here. Another pack. This is green pumpkin magic. So pretty much it's just like a standard old green pumpkin, but it has a little bit of like whitish, goldish glitter in it. Then I have another pack of the black and red crawls as well, because that color is just, I'm telling you, absolute juice. If you guys are fishing dirty water, you're not through that color. And then there's something wrong with you. You need to be out there throwing that. And then I have just an old standard June bug color, which is great for dirty water as well as you guys know um these two are my favorite colors for dirty water june bug and then the black and red flake two premium colors that need to be in your tackle box at all times but wait there's more so i actually have i, I bought these hooks at bass Pro shops very inexpensive very cheap like not the best quality hooks out there. And these are just the XPS series. These are just regular little EWG hooks. They're, they're not the best guys. They're really not the best. But for this tackle box, for me bringing it along in the truck, pond fishing, going on the river, fishing for fun when there's a lot of mud fish that bite me off, I really don't care what hooks I throw. I'm just out there having fun. Now I got some of these inexpensive ones from Walmart. I actually had these in my truck. So I was like, why not just throw them in these tack this tackle box as well? And these are just, just a little, little cheap, uh, cheap ones as well. Then we have some little lead weights. And then we got some Z-Baits pegs right there. Those are hot. Those are awesome. If you guys want to go check those out, go to Z-Baits. I'll leave their link below. Um, I actually thought I ran out of these and I was, I was looking through some boxes and I found some and I was like, man, I really needed those. So we're going to go ahead and start to organize this. And I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to organize all this tackle in this old deer hair box right here. We need to get these bad boys out. If you guys do not know what these are, you pretty much cut these and place them in play, place them inside the box to pretty much organize your tackle each of these columns i'm going to put a bait so simply if i'm putting a bait in each one of these columns i actually don't even need this so i'm going to need this for the hooks and weight so i am going to cut up one of these man this makes my life so much easier since i don't have to use one place that sucker in right there boom freaking juicy so let me show you guys what i'm working with so these two right here, I'm putting hooks in this one, weights in this one, and with the weights, I'll just obviously add in these little pegs. And then I'm gonna be adding crawl, 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 in all different colors on those. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna start off with the old, actually let's, let's do the weights first. Pour these bad boys in. Oh my gosh. I'm already spilling them all over the place. So we got a 25 pack of 316 ounce lead bullet weights right here let me get up close and juicy shot yeah yeah just pour them right in there just like those are good we got the old hooks these are the cheap walmart ones and then we got the cheap bass pro ones yep man i'm just messing up today old bass pro shop here we go 
And then last but not least, Z-Bait pegs. And I would like to say something, I'm not always using like every single time I throw a little old Texas rig or whatever it is, I'm not gonna be using the peg every single time. It's all gonna vary, but I am gonna have these in this tackle box just in case I need them. It's always good to have them. And also, you know, who knows, I might end up throwing one of these weightless, which I don't most of the time, but who knows, you know, one day I might just wanna throw a weightless, so I might not even use one of the weights. So, but I just wanna be prepared and have everything in this tackle box so when I'm traveling, it's just perfect. So as you guys can tell, we got the old weights and hooks right here in this tackle box. Still have all the slots open, but that is where we're about to fill with bait. So this is what I'm gonna do. So I have four different colors. I have five slots. Obviously one of them I'm gonna leave open. When I get another color, I will put it in there. But I do have a, a wide range of colors right here. I have four colors, but I have two dirty water colors and two clear water colors in my opinion. I got June bug and black and red right here. These are two premium dirty water colors. If you guys do not have these two colors in your boat, highly suggest it. Muddy water, water that doesn't have, you know, barely any visibility. These are both killer colors. So what I'm going to actually do is I am going to put the two dirty water colors right next to each other. So they're kind of organized. So the first slot, I'm going to be putting these old June bugs in. As you guys can tell right here, I just loaded up the old June bugs in the first slot. This is what I was kind of talking about. It's easier if I'm closer for you guys. So I have the June bugs right here and then right next to it, I'm going to have the black and red. So these are my two dirty water colors and then I'll move on to, you know, my green pumpkins right along here. And then here's a little closer shot of obviously the little hooks, staring all EWGs. And then we got some 316 sounds bullet weights, just lead bullet weights. These are inexpensive, very cheap. They're not like tungstens that are, you know, super expensive. If I was fishing a tournament or if I was on certain lakes and I would definitely have me some tungstens, but for fishing, this box is mainly for fishing the river and or fishing ponds. So it's easy and very portable. So that's why I have those because on the river, I break off a lot due to mudfish and ponds. I just really don't care what I use. But now next up is the old Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl black and red so here it goes baby right here we got two packs of these so this one's gonna be stuffed honestly i'm probably gonna end up just making two slots of the out of these because it's gonna gonna be two packs i think i'll just put up two since i have an extra slot anyways and make it look even sexier if i have you know everything filled out so i guess we're gonna do that to both the black and red flavor having these right next to the june bug in two different slots one thing i am going to tell you guys is when you put these in be careful because if you don't want them to bend up, like if you have like this one right here, and it was kind of bent on the side, because once these things don't, if they don't lay flat, then they're gonna ruin. They're gonna bend up and they're gonna stay that way. So you wanna keep them as organized as possible in here. I mean, obviously they're not gonna be perfect. Don't keep them all bent up and everything. You wanna keep them laid out to an extent that's good. So we got our three dirty water watercolors right here. Up next, we got our old clear water colors. We have our standard old green pumpkin right here. You guys know this is just a standard clear water color. Just natural color in general you know green pumpkin and watermelon yet you, you know you have your green pumpkins and you have your watermelons they're both really you know natural colors and fish just you know obviously tear them up they're really basic colors but if you ever want to catch fish that's what you need to be throwing i <laughs> you need to have these colors in your boat they're just a classic it's just the old old standard colors that you just need to have you got your green pumpkins you got your watermelons watermelon reds watermelon oranges and man does this tackle box look good i can tell you that we are going to be adding the last one, which is the green pumpkin magic, which is just a green pumpkin with a little bit of glitter. Oh man, we are looking juicy guys. We are looking so juicy. We're gonna get some better close up shots of this, but oh man, look at that. This tackle box is literally perfect for what I bought. And this thing is so small and so portable. One thing I wanna do, I do wanna cut this off. I don't like that. The old new secret tackle box is finally finished. Look at this, guys. That is sexy. That That is a sexy crawl tackle box right there. You know, you got five different colors, four different colors of just crawl, straight crawl action. Then everything you need to rig them up, you are all good. And a little tiny portable tackle box. So that is the old new secret tackle box right there. If you guys are kind of, you know, new to the channel or you never saw my other video, I made a tackle box pretty much with all Sankos and it was just kind of a whole Texas rig box, but for Sankos rather than like the crawls for this one. So I did want to make another one just for crawls. And the reason I'm making these tackle boxes, it isn't because, oh, I'm just going to be putting this in my boat. Yes, when I go out fishing, you know, I'm going to throw this in my boat and this will be my little Texas rig box, but it's not something I would normally do. This box is built for me traveling. You know, I'm, I'm over here running 
traveling to other ponds trying to film a lot of videos. I'm always moving really, really fast. You know, sometimes I don't have the tackle on me, but if I have this box, you know, this is simple. You know, I just throw this right in my car. I don't have packs laying around. I don't have this, this, and that. It's really organized. It's really small. It's easy. It's portable. You can throw it in your backpack. You can carry it along the bank at a pond with you. You can throw it in your boat. When you go out of town to Florida to go catch some giants next week, you can easily take it with you, throw it in your back seat. And that is kind of the reason I made this video and made this tackle box, which is to just show you guys obviously how I organize my tackle. One thing I usually don't do is I don't put soft plastics in a box, but this is my one exception. Like I usually just do not. I usually grab one of those boxes that doesn't have splitters down the middle that are little tiny sections and I just line my packs of baits. That's usually what I do. Like I'll have my Senkos in this one, I have my crawls, my drop shot worms, whatever it is. I can make a video on that because I have tons of boxes already made. But this is just perfect for traveling. That's the point. That's the point of this one. So if you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to pepper that like button. If you guys want to see some more tackle videos, let me know below. And let me know which tackle box video you would like to see next. If you guys want to see me make a certain tackle box, whether it's this bait or that bait, whatever it is, you guys just want to see me go buy the tackle and then turn it into a tackle box and then see it in the recent episode. So there is one thing I would like to do real quick before I end off this video since I haven't done one in a while. I noticed in the comment section, a lot of people were like, no, do a giveaway, no, do a giveaway. And I did recently just hit... I'm like at 72,000 now, but I did hit 70,000 last week, I think, 72,000 subs, or 70,000 subs, I don't know what I'm saying, I hit 70,000 last week, so I guess I'm going to be doing a giveaway right now, you guys have been asking for it, so that's what we're going to do, let me grab this stuff real quick. You guys thought you were lucky, you guys thought you were about to get this little sexy tackle box, but no, I, I got, you know, I got something good for you. Alrighty, this is what we got. I got a few different things from a few of my sponsors, I actually have a lucky tackle box that I want to give you guys. It's filled with baits. I literally haven't even opened this bad boy. It's, it's still sealed. I haven't even opened it, so I can ship this out to you guys. And also, I have you know some little swim baits from Z Baits. We've got some bigger white ones right there. Oh man, juicy stuff right there. Then we got the old red tail worms, and this is actually in June bug. Sexy right there. Throw that bad boy on the shaky head. Um, even cut it down, put it on an old drop shot. You will whack them for sure. So all you have to do to enter this giveaway with these three packs of baits right here by Z Baits and this big old lucky tackle box right here is simply comment below what you like about my channel. I wanna know you know, what type of videos you guys like, why you like watching my videos, and I want you to go in specific. I don't want you guys to just see I like the vlogs. Like what kind of vlogs do you like? Do you like the college vlogs where I'm vlogging and going to tournaments, or do you like the vlogs where you know I'm going to a pond and I'm gonna teach you how to throw this bait? What kind of videos do you guys like? That's, one, that's the first step. Second step, you need to like this video. So do that right now. Pepper that thumbs up button. Third, click the subscribe button and there's a little bell right next to it. This is a required step. You need to press that little bell so it will send you post notifications for every single video. As you guys probably already know, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So this will send you a notification every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Most of the time it will. Sometimes it messes up, but most of the time it's going to send you a notification and you guys will know when I upload. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. All the support on all the videos lately have been amazing. Anyone who's new to the channel, welcome to the Kickin' the Bass TV family. Thank you so much for watching this video in particular, but I hope you watch some more in the near future. But overall, guys, I think that's going to conclude this one. If you guys want to see some more talk about this, blah, 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 blah. If you guys want to see some more Tackle Box videos, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And I'll catch you all in the next video. I got sky like the brother man, uh. I crack cars, get hella bands, uh. I got a bar from the motherland, uh. I got shooters, man, get it, get it, uh. Anyway, uh. Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh. I crack cars, cook every day, uh. I get money, uh. Every day, uh.